there YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Auntie Ace Kitchen, simple and delicious food cooked in South Korea. Today, sausage rolls, and a sausage roll is simply meat encased in pastry. It's a delicious snack um, that we would have as a lunchtime, or in a picnic, or at a party. So, stay tuned, I'm going to show you the ingredients, thanks for joining. First ingredient you're going to need to use is minced meat of some sort. I'm using 600 grams of minced pork. You could do half half and do some beef mixed with pork. Um, it's just what I have. The next ingredient is your puff pastry. Um, the video that is on the channel, I showed you how to make um, quite a bit of puff pastry. So this is half of what I made the other day. The other half went towards the apple strudel. Now with the spices, you can do any combination of spices that you like. In fact, I would encourage you to experiment with flavors that you and your family enjoy. This combination here happens to be what my husband has worked out and I think the flavor combinations are delicious. Him and his family used to make their own sausages and he's really nailed the combination of flavors which is why I want to show you those today. So the first ingredient we're going to be putting in is salt and we're using fine salt so that can be dispersed easily and as you can see we've already measured it out. Then black pepper and the same again it's um, very fine. Maradram leaf and in here there are two and a half teaspoons and you can get this from iHerb. Um, next we're going to use some garlic powder and there's half a teaspoon here. The next one is a British favourite which is nutmeg and if you've not used nutmeg before it's a very strong flavour so be careful how and what you use it with but we do put it in a lot of our cooking and there is a quarter teaspoon here already measured out and again you can order this off iHerb. And the last one is paprika and in here there is one teaspoon already measured out and paprika, the nutmeg, the garlic, the marjoram, the pepper and the salt is just fantastic. As you can see here I put the ingredients out in front. You will see the ingredients added here is the egg um, because I forgot to put that out when I was showing you the other ingredients. And the other one is the flour that I'm going to use to roll out our dough. So then what we're going to do is just add all the ingredients. Once I've added all of the ingredients, I'm just going to mix this up. So once now, you've mixed it in with the spoon, use your hand and really get those spices worked into all of the mixture. I'm going to put it into a bag. Now this is called a decor bag and they're used for cake decorating but we have found by putting the meat inside it makes it real easy to then be able to put the meat onto the pastry. Now if you don't have these you can freestyle. So once you put the meat in and I'll show you it's really important to get out all of the air that is airtight and this will make then squeezing the mixture onto your pastry a lot easier and one of the ways we do that and I'll show you how so what I'm going to do is cut a very small hole in the bag just to begin with um, and that's just so that the air can go through so that when I squeeze this down it means that the air can go out. Okay and once I get nearer to the end, nearly there, don't want to waste any of the meat, you then twist it and that is now ready to use and when I'm just about ready I will cut. Now remember when you cut the hole here um, if I cut a small hole it will come out slightly bigger. I've just got my pastry out of the refrigerator. You want to keep the pastry in the refrigerator until the last minute. Remember we're going to flour our board so we don't want it sticking. And I'm going to flour my rolling pin as that doesn't then stick either. So I'm going to cut this in half because we only used half of this from last time and I can always use more if I need to. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna roll this out. I've rolled it out. I'm now gonna go with a line. Now you're gonna come a little bit because I need to allow it to fold over. So squeeze out. We'll meet. Don't worry about that. Once I've got my line, I'm then going to cut like this. Oops. And I'm going to egg wash. So I've got my egg wash here. So, and then I'm going to roll this over. I'm then going to push it down. Don't worry if it's not perfectly straight. It's going to come out and taste delicious. So push down. There's a little bit left at the end, don't worry. And I'm going to cut these into mouth biting size just like that and then put this on my tray what i'll do is i'm gonna put this here okay so i put my sausage rolls we'll do some small ones and some big ones really pushing down there making sure that that's sealed Good. Like that. And then we repeat and do the same again. There we have our sausage rolls. The finishing touch is just to fork the pastry just on the edges here. Also make sure that it's completely stuck. There we go. I could have done this before cutting. That probably would have been easier. Wonderful. And then the last thing is all that remains is for me to cover this in egg so that they brown and bronze and look delicious afterwards. And what I like about doing rustic sausage rolls like this, when you see them come out of the oven, they're going to be different shapes and just delicious and I think that's really nice and people will know that they are home cooked because they'll have that authentic look about them. These are finished sausage rolls before they go in the oven. Now I'm gonna put this into a preheated oven. You can see there the sausage rolls are cooking nicely. Oh, they look so delicious. These are straight out of the oven. I'm gonna take those out and put them on a cooling rack. So thanks for watching how to make sausage rolls and as you can see here my plate is dwindling um, I keep eating them and I've just gone and taken some to a friend to try um, sausage rolls for the first time so then what's brilliant about them is they're just not uniformed in size you can see some smaller ones some bigger ones some with more pastry some without and um, that's just what makes them fantastic they're just so unique each and every one of them as you can see here, you can see the puff on the pastry. And when I bite into it, there's just this crispiness. Mmm. Mmm.
it's crumbly. You can see the pork is cooked all the way through. Oh, it's just delicious. So why don't you have a go, try to make them. If they're not perfect, that's okay. The more times that you begin to practice or cook these, the better you will get. So start cooking, get cooking, send me a picture, leave a comment that you've tried, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.